Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. When architects design a building, they start with a blueprint. Every detail, down to the smallest bolt or nail, is meticulously planned. God, the ultimate architect of our lives, has also designed a divine blueprint for each one of us. Your dreams and aspirations are not mere afterthoughts or coincidences. They are a part of God's detailed blueprint for your life. Think about a seed for a moment. It's small and unassuming, but within it lies the potential for a majestic tree or a beautiful flower. Likewise, the dreams in your heart are like seeds planted by God. They may seem small or even insignificant now, but they contain the DNA of something much larger, your divine purpose. When God plants a dream in your heart, it's like a seed of divine origin, carrying within it the potential to grow and bear fruit that will bring blessing to you and to others. When God plants a dream in your heart, it's not just for your benefit. The actualization of that dream often brings blessings, opportunities, and even transformation to the people around you. Your obedience to God's vision can open doors for others, solve problems in your community, or bring about healing and reconciliation in ways you can't even begin to fathom. God's plans are not isolated, they are interconnected in a web of blessings that extend far beyond individual lives. The dreams God has given you are robust, they're built to withstand the tests of time and trials. Don't be discouraged if things are not unfolding as quickly as you'd like. Divine dreams often require divine timing. The waiting period is not a sign that your dream has failed. Rather, it's a season of preparation. God uses these times to refine you, to strengthen your faith, and to set the stage for your dream's fulfillment in a way that aligns with His perfect plan. One final thought. True God-given dreams will always be aligned with His character and His word. They won't lead you into actions or paths that contradict the essence of who God is, love, truth and justice. When in doubt, hold your dreams up to the light of God's word. If they align, you can be confident that they are indeed from God and that they carry a divine seal of approval. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. In our fast-paced society, waiting is often considered a waste of time, a setback to our plans and ambitions, but in God's economy, waiting is a crucial element of spiritual development and preparation. It's a season where God molds us, refining our character, deepening our faith, and setting the stage for future blessings. The scriptures are full of stories of people who had to wait, Abraham and Sarah waited for a child, Joseph waited in prison, and even Jesus had to wait 30 years before he began his public ministry. You may not see anything happening, but in the spiritual realm, many things are being aligned, adjusted, and prepared for you. God is working on the hearts of people, changing circumstances, and sometimes even influencing entire communities or nations to bring about His plans for your life. Just because you can't see it, doesn't mean it's not happening. From of old, no one has heard or perceived by the ear, no eye has seen a God besides you, who acts for those who wait for Him. The waiting season is a time when your spiritual muscles are built. Each moment of uncertainty, each trial, and each tear that falls is like a spiritual workout fortifying your faith and resilience. You learn to rely on God more deeply and to find joy and peace in His presence, independent of external circumstances. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. Let's not forget that many Bible heroes experienced long seasons of waiting before their divine purpose was fulfilled. 
Moses spent 40 years in the desert before leading the Israelites out of Egypt. David was anointed as a young boy, but had to wait many years, enduring persecution and battles before finally becoming king. Their waiting seasons were not idle times, but periods of preparation, training, and alignment with God's will. The process of waiting can also develop discernment and wisdom in us. As we wait upon the Lord, we become more attuned to His voice and His leading. We learn to distinguish between good opportunities and God's opportunities, between the clamor of the world and the whisper of the Spirit. For the Lord gives wisdom, from His mouth come knowledge and understanding. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Just because a dream hasn't come to fruition yet, doesn't mean it won't. Unlike human constructs, the dreams God gives us aren't confined by time or circumstances. They don't wither like grass or fade like a flower. If God said it will happen, then it will come to pass. Your job is to hold on to the vision and act in obedience. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. When circumstances are tough and you're feeling discouraged, remember that God often uses trials to prepare us for triumphs. You may encounter obstacles, but they are often the stepping stones leading to the realization of your dreams. Be resilient, persist in faith and action, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. In this journey towards seeing your dreams fulfilled, never forget that you are not alone. Even when it feels like you're walking in a wilderness, God is right there with you. He is your guide, your strength, and your ultimate source of success. You might be at a point where your dreams seem distant or even impossible, but remember that with God, all things are possible. Your dreams grounded in His purpose for your life are not dead. They are merely waiting for God's perfect timing. Hold on, keep the faith and stay the course. Your dreams won't die. They're alive and well within God's eternal plan for you. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts open and minds attuned to your word. We seek your wisdom and guidance. Lord, stir up the dreams you have planted in each one of us. Rekindle the embers of hope and breathe life into our aspirations. Father, for anyone reading or hearing this message who feels like giving up, we ask that you touch them with renewed strength and faith. Your word says in Habakkuk 2 verse 3 that the vision is for an appointed time. Though it may tarry, it will surely come. We believe this promise, Lord, and we stand in faith, trusting that your timing is always perfect. Holy Spirit, illuminate our minds and hearts. Grant us the clarity to discern God-given dreams from mere human ambitions. As we wait for the fulfillment of these dreams, help us to wait with patience, with hope, and with an unwavering faith in your promises.